All right, here we have a couple trees. And your question to you is which are native to Washington and which are not native. We're going to show you a series of four different kinds of trees starting here. On the left is a giant sequoia tree. And here on my right is a redwood tree. Let's move in and take a closer look at the leaves and the bark. So here we have the leaves. You can notice that they are needle-like, that they're very flat, and on the back side they have a lighter color. On the ground all around here are old leaf parts that have fallen off. Deciduous trees do lose their leaves, they just don't lose them all at once. They lose about 30% of them over the course of the year. And I looked all over on the ground for a redwood cone. They grow on the tips of these branches and they are so tiny. One of the tallest trees in the world comes from one of the smallest cones. If you notice the bark on the redwood, it's per furrowed. It kind of looks like stripes running down. So this is the bark of a redwood tree. A very thick bark. Helps protect it from fire. And as we move over here, Here's the bark of a giant sequoia tree. It also is a, a thick, uh, thick bark, but it, it looks slightly different than the redwood tree. And what's even more different are its cones and leaves. Come take a look. The leaves on a giant sequoia are scale-like. They kind of overlap each other. They look like little pointed triangles coming off of the main stem. So these are the leaves of a giant sequoia and the cones are the coolest. Look at the cone for a giant sequoia. The seeds are inside the cones. That's where the new trees will be born from. <laughs> All right, here we're standing in front, I'm standing in front of a stand of trees. They're all the same kind. They're a Douglas fir tree. If we come in and look, you can see the cone is hanging here off the end of the tree with the new growth on the tip. The needles are growing, singly attached. Douglas fir cones are the only tree that have these little bracts on them. If you look at it closely, it reminds me of a mouse diving in for cover with its two feet and tail sticking out. I'm standing in front of our another tree here. And if you come and take a closer look, what's amazing is looking at the needles and how they're growing. Do you see how they're kind of what's called a whorl pattern and the circular way how they're growing. They're, it doesn't look like they're flat on a surface, but more of round clumps growing out of the same location in a circular form. And right here is the cone. When the cone first starts growing, it's green. And as it ages, it will turn to brown and eventually fall off the tree. Inside are the cones. This is a true cedar tree. I've only seen two of these trees so far. That is because they don't grow here. They are native to the Himalayas. So a true cedar is nothing like the Western red cedar, which is common around here. A uh, true cedar has needle-like leaves and uh, bigger cones, but this grows in the Himalayas.